Okay, good afternoon, citizens of Reverb. We've got an unusual amplifier here. This is an Earth Sound Research Super Guitar G2000 with auxiliary slave input, made in USA from 1973. It's got its own cabinet, it's got two 15 inch speakers, it is a hundred watts, it is all tube, it has reverb and tremolo marked as a vibrato just like a Fender would. A little reverb. Very surfy reverb on this and the tremolo. together. And there you go. So we'll take a look at the amp, we'll look at the different features and things. Um, it's obviously like a very well-known other amp. We've got our channel that has reverb and tremolo marked as vibrato and we have another channel that is straight up sound. So bottom row that across is all um, the channel 2 and that's channel 1 so there you go. Let's take a look around this beast. Okay, well, if for starters you will notice that this amplifier is upholstered. That's a factory upholstery job. We'll take a look at the front and sides on that. Um, Earth was not the most creative company, but they definitely made a well, well made amp. I mean, you go inside, the handiwork is very, very good. In this case of the G2000, they took their inspiration for visuals from custom and they took their sonic inspirations and circuitry from Fender. The circuit in this is very much like a dual showman. Our upholstered speaker cabinet has two 15-inch speakers here by Eminence. They are the original speakers. The speaker on the bottom has a replaced dust cap. The speaker was fine, but the dust cap was nowhere to be found. So I put a chrome dust cap, the closest I had to the original, on there. This amp did need a lot, a lot, a lot of work to bring it back to life, but these are not very common, so I wanted to get it going. There's a couple of special things about this, so let's flip it around and we'll look at the back. All right, here is our back panel. We have our fuse. We have a now three-prong power cord. We have our two-prong accessory cord, original. Standby switch, very Fender-like. Speaker output, made an extension. This is expecting four ohms. That's what our cabinet is, four ohms. Auxiliary slaves. Uh, there's actually a little silicon transistor in there that puts a preamp out to whatever you want to plug in. So it has its own little output to go to the Earth slave amplifier, if you ever find one. Recording output to tape, so line out. The RCA jacks to fit your foot switch, which there is an aftermarket foot switch included. Um, and to make the tremolo work, you do require the foot switch. 
much like the Fender amp this was designed for or after. And then there's actually a reverb in and out over here where I suppose you could run other sounds through the reverb if you want. Uh, we have a metal plate here to keep little Jimmy's fingers out of it. The power tubes, when it arrived here, the power tubes that were in there were in no shape for dancing at all. So we have brand new OEM type Shiguang power tubes. Um, they're new, they're matched. They're 6L6s, gives you about 100 watts. Our preamp tubes are what was in here. They all tested excellent, and they are Mullard tubes. They are labeled IEC by Mullard, made in Great Britain. There are our complement, we have the 7025, which is also an ECC83 or 12AX7. So we have 7025, 7025. 12 AT7, 7025, 7025, 12 AT7. All the preamp tubes are the Mullards, and all of them tested very, very healthy. Um, the transformers in this thing are enormous. Um, it is really heavy duty build. This amp did kind of go through the ringer when we got it. It did need some work. Like I say, there was a dust cap missing on one of the speakers. The back plate here on the amplifier for the speaker jack was missing and dude cut a hole in the cabinet and had a wire hanging out of it. That's all been repaired. We have a new plate here. I made that. So we made that here in our shop to get that going. Um, the covering is pretty good. It has some nicks here and there and like I say, look over the pictures. I'm not going to pretend this is absolutely factory gorgeous but it's a five footer when you're five foot away from it it kind of makes you go whoa what is that so real cool and then let's take a look at our aftermarket foot switch it is over there and I would say that's appropriate for the amp considering it's a very Fender-esque type circuit we have a Fender-esque type aftermarket foot switch as you can see, the sides of our cabinet are that lovely button upholstery finish with the built-in metal handles. And all of the buttons on the cabinet are original buttons. The ones on the top were in no shape for dancing, so they've been replaced with a very, very close approximation to what was original. Here is the top of our cabinet. All been redone. Um, made better obviously cleaned all the dirt off of it, tried to make it as nice as possible. Our control panel is exactly what you would expect on the amp that they were working after. Let's face it, this is very much a dual showman. Normal channel, input 1 and 2 with different impedances for different volumes, bright switch, volume, bass, mid, treble. Vibrato channel, tremolo channel, input 1 and 2 with different impedances for different volumes, Bright switch, volume, bass, middle, treble, reverb, which can be turned on and off by the foot switch, and speed and intensity for the tremolo circuit. The reverb will work without the foot switch attached. The vibrato, it is a requirement. Uh, we do have the two-way power switch because when this shipped from the factory, it was a two-wire power cord. It has been changed out to a three-way power cord. So now we have the three, you know, the grounded power cord for additional safety. Not only do we have brand new power tubes, but every capacitor in this thing that was electrolytic has been changed from the little tiny ones down to the big boys. Now the big multi-section can capacitor inside um, is still present but it's been cut off and it's been replaced by capacitors under the chassis. As you can see that capacitor is in no shape for dancing. But if y'all like originality and you want the original capacitors, just ask me. I'll put them in a bag and send them to you. So there's our Earth G2000 Super Guitar. All new caps, new power tubes, very healthy preamp tubes by Mullard and it's uh, ready to rock and roll. All the switches are quiet. It's working great. This thing is going to be a nightmare to ship. So if you really want to ship it, you let me know. Or you can come to the Cleveland, Ohio area, check it out, maybe take it home. Unusual amp. I'm M-pricing it to be as competitive as possible. Um, 
but if you can't afford a dual showman, this is a funny looking dual showman circuit. It really is close. Go ahead and pull the schematics on a Earth Super Guitar G2000 and a Fender Dual Showman and you will be very surprised. This does have a fixed bias. It doesn't have the bias, the bias balance. So this has the old school sort of black face-ish type bias. Um, the tubes are, you know, obviously matched and biased and all of that. And they are biased, what I would call warm. You have your uh, 50 is considered a cold bias, 60 is a warm bias, and 70 is your hot or max bias. Actually, going anywhere beyond 70 is considered hot. We're at about 65%, so we're nice and warm, plenty of output power, and sounding really good. So there's your Earth G2000. Uh, it's up on Reverb. Feel free to talk to me about it, ask me any questions about it. Um, Really cool looking, considering it's from 73, that would make this thing, what, 40, oh crap, 47 years old? I think 40, 46, 47 years old, something like that. Um, you know, it's it's been restored to the best of my ability, and it's looking pretty good, considering that I'm going to bet this has been around to a lot of different cities, playing a lot of different places. Alright, thanks for watching, have a great day.